Hey guys. And Satsuriko. My name is Money. And I'm Abby. And together we have a little prince called Noah. Who is sleeping right now, guys. And together we're known as the, the Modern, Modern Sings. Today. <laughs> Today guys, I am filming this video because yesterday I was mm. really craving this aloo sandwich. It was so yummy. Again, I'm not pregnant because so many people said that when I used the word craving. Oh, is she pregnant? Because she said craving. Pregnant. You know, I'm, it makes sense. Oh Only God. pregnant women crave. <laughs> Other people don't crave. So if you're pregnant, Trust you're me, craving. I crave all day, three, <laughs> 365 days out of the year. But I was really craving this aloo sandwich. It's basically like an aloo puronte, but like with bread yeah. instead so it's easier to make at home but so many of you guys asked me so for the recipe many. of it it was crazy so i thought i would just show you this easy simple quick little snack that yep. you can have any time of day so today we're going to teach you guys on how to make this yummy yummy aloo toast aloo toast aloo yeah. pronto toast nee there's nee? no pronto there's no pronto okay chalo guys so you guys we're going to go back to pubby's dabba guys hana Hanji. For one, probably the most simple recipe I've ever done in my life. It literally will only take you like 20 minutes. And it only takes that long because you need to boil potatoes. Like, it's so simple. So, ajo, ajo. Ajo, jaldi kuro. All we need is potatoes. Red onion. Tiga. Tiga. Bread. Cheese. Tiga. And spices. Okay. So, you have Punjabi view or no? Does it? Punjabi view, what do you need? Not tail. Ah, uh, oh, m, uh, uh, uh. I know it. No, bus. No, ghee is ghee. What is it? Oh, makni. Ah, makan. Makan. <laughs> oh. Oh. Did you guys see the cockiness in Abby? Like she knows more Punjabi than me. Oh, gee. Oh, this guy is so stupid. Oh, gee. We have pao. 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 Lal peyaj. Aloos. Tell me you live in an Indian household without telling me you live in an Indian household. I love it. So from our spices guys, we're going to be using salt, black pepper, jira seeds, cumin seeds, haldi, and garam masala. How do you know English? Turmeric. Turmeric. Oh. Today you have turmeric. Yes, Anji. We match. <laughs> and I forgot. I use one, one green chili. Okay. Mum uses two, but I, I think I only use one. So the first step, guys, will be boiling the potatoes because this is what takes the longest. Um, you can do this however you'd like. However, when I do it, I usually just like physically boil them in a pot with boiling water. Mom's awake. Mom's awake. Okay. Okay. Tutika. Hanji. Good morning. So guys, Noah is awake. He's gone with his Rao. Hanji. You know, he's going to go and spend time with her at the mall. But Hana Mary Princess ne dekho. Dilli kar liya apni talk. Because of you. So as I was saying guys, the first step is to boil the potatoes. This is what takes the longest part about this recipe. Like everything else is so simple and so super duper easy. Um, you can boil them in any way you want. I boil mine physically like on the stove in boiling water, make them soft that way. Whether as you can do it any way you want. Oh guys, you know, you got a kettle at home, just chuck them in there, turn the kettle on. <laughs> <laughs> And guys, I'm just gonna add in like a quarter teaspoon of salt into that as well. And while we wait for those to boil, we're just gonna cut up some red onion and the green chili and get it all ready to mash into the potatoes. <laughs> so just chop this chili guys very, very fine. Again, you can add in as many chilies as you want. I like mine like pretty mild, so I only have one chili. Your mom does too. She bows. I'm a baby. <laughs> Just go with how much you like guys. You can add literally anything into this as well. Like you can add in like capsicum, carrot, any, any vegetable you want. Mushroom? We could do Why mushroom. Is it not mushroom. But being all serious guys, Indian food, it tastes so good. It looks so good and it smells so good. You might make a mess in the kitchen. You might gain weight. Go to the gym, run it off. If you make a mess in the kitchen, <laughs> clean the kitchen. Simple as that, guys. But you do want to try these recipes. They're so damn yummy. 
Yummy, yummy in my tummy. So the onion and the green chili are all in here just waiting for the potatoes. So until I'm just gonna butter just one side of each bread, not both sides. So how to tell if your potatoes are done, you guys get a butter knife and cut through them. And they should be soft enough that when you just squeeze through it, it goes right in. Yep, that's done. Life lesson. Thanks money. for that, Chef Money. You're welcome. It was a life lesson. Okay? <laughs> so what's the next step, baby? The next step is now we get our strainer, which is I think in this drawer. No, it's not. It's probably over here. Finally. And yeah. then you put the strainer right over here. It doesn't fit in our sink. It doesn't fit in our sink. Mm -mm. Something we learn every day. <laughs> Something you learn <laughs> today. <laughs> you all learn today. And then we just strain our potatoes. Anji. Okay, and what's next? And then you put this into here. Thank you, Chef Money. So we've added in our potatoes to the onion and the green chili. So I add in about like one and a half teaspoons of salt. Like a small, small pinch of jeera seeds, not much at all. Then about a teaspoon of garam masala, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and a tiny pinch of turmeric as well, like a quarter teaspoon of turmeric. And then what I do is I mash it all together, and then I taste it, and I see does it need anything else added to it. Money can be my taste test today. Akaro. Taste test. Do you want any more salt? Anything no, else? no, that's good. Perfect. Bohot guys. If you guys do try this recipe, you have to let us know in the comments below or on Instagram, guys. Do let us know. Share your photos. Tag us. Be like, hey, the modern things. We made the potato. What are they called again? But like aloo like toast. Aloo toast. Aloo toast. We are going to use a flat press for this, guys. You can just use a frying pan and just put your butter on and just turn it over. Um, we're just gonna use a flat press because it's easier because it does both sides at once. It's nice and easy um, So just put your butter side down in there and we're just gonna put a Good amount like you want to taste this and then you can add in Any cheese you want guys. We add these little slices in just because this is, is for easy factor But you can grate in any cheese that you want and then again put the butter side up I love that noise. That noise is so satisfying. <laughs> and we've got our tomorrow's lunch all packed. We're just gonna put it in the fridge, guys, and make some more tomorrow. So guys, our sandwiches are all done. They only take a couple minutes to cook. Honestly, guys, you're just wanting, the only part you really need to wait for is for your bread to go like a nice golden color. That's it. You're only really toasting the bread because the inside is already cooked. Very toasting nice. the bread and melting the cheese. Let's cut this up and let's see how amazing it looks. Look, it's made our aloo toast. It's very good. It's very good. Let's eat it. Come friends. If you guys try it, like I said, do let us know. Mm. It's so hot. It is very hot. That's very good. We hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Um, do let us know what other recipes we can try. Mm. We really want to try like some other other country food and like just make something different. Like people are saying we should try making a dosa. Oh, dosas are so yum. Yeah, I don't know they if I look really make nice. It I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> but we hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and yeah, let us know if you want to see any food from anywhere around the world and we'll try and make it happen. Mm. And always remember guys to like and subscribe. Right, right, Oh, no, one got a couple. Kill? What? He? Oh, remember, we ain't that couple. Oh. <laughs>